Let's dispel this one myth once and for all. Lactic acid does not cause you to be sore the next day after a workout. I just finished tonight. Um, I had a patient this morning that I actually thought to myself, he said something where, oh yeah, I'm sore from all the lactic acid. I did a workout two days ago or something like that. And I was like, and then I thought to myself, oh man, I've got like four patients in the waiting room. I'm busy. I'm going to start falling behind with the chart notes. I just let it go. And sometimes that happens. You just don't have the time to educate people about stuff. But here's the deal. It was like, I remember it was like 1983. And why I remember it was 1983, I don't know. But there's been plenty of studies on delayed onset muscle soreness, DOMS and why we actually get sore from workouts and it actually has nothing, absolutely nothing to do with um, lactic acid. Lactic acid is simply a byproduct of aerobic exercise to a muscle cell. So what happens is when you essentially can't keep up, your body starts producing lactic acid, start, that's where you start to feel the burn and you start to feel pain and thus you have to stop the exercise. So you think a couple days later that you're sore, it's because there's lactic acid, or you have to drink water, or you have to flush out the toxins. Uh, lactic acid is not a toxin, it's just a byproduct of the muscular activity. In fact, most of the reason why you get sore is because of muscular damage to the soft tissue of the muscle. So what happens is if you damage the muscle, uh, white blood cells, different hormones, and essentially swelling occurs. And it can take about two or three days for swelling to occur. That's why when you actually work out with weights, let's say, and you feel pretty good that day, the next day you're sore, but the second day you're even more sore. And some people, the third day, because it takes about three days for that, for that swelling to occur. It's like a sprained ankle. So the reason why you're sore after a workout is not because of lactic acid. In fact, when you're exercising and you feel that burn and then literally, I don't know, it depends genetically on people and how good a shape you're in, but for the most part, when I do intervals, uh, within a minute or two, the lactic acid is gone. So it's gone after minutes um, in your system, or at least you don't feel it. But uh, but when they do uh, lactate testing, they test your lactate uh, with a pinprick, um, very often within minutes to a half an hour, the lactic acid is gone out of your bloodstream. So that's not the reason why you get um, uh, sore. But yet, it's 40 freaking years later and people still think that lactic acid causes soreness. It's crazy. So the reason why you're sore is because of the muscular damage. So if muscle soreness, it really is damage to the muscle and it's an inflammatory response, then the treatment needs to be towards the inflammatory response. But surprisingly, things like anti-inflammatories, NSAIDs, actually reduce the inflammation and the pain, but they slow down and stop the recovery. So. I don't recommend that to patients. Ice baths help, but getting people to do ice baths is almost near impossible. Heat is very soothing, will temporarily increase the swelling, but does get blood flow into there to bring nutrients to there, so I do recommend that as well. Um, stretching has not been shown to reduce uh, muscle soreness. Light, light, light muscular activity that does not involve the eccentric portion. So exam for example, um, riding an exercise bicycle on a very easy gear seems to help the best with post-exercise muscle soreness. So that is generally the best recommendation that I tell my patients.